Hello everyone, my name is Reshu Tyagi and currently I am pursuing Masters from University of Queensland, Australia and currently residing in Brisbane City. So today I am here to share a bit of my experiences with you that how, what is happening in the university premises and what is the current situation across Australia and within the state. So first of all, I would like to thank all of you to be to be a good citizen and supporting each one, each individual in this pandemic situation. I would like to thank everyone who is serving their bit in this situation. So, as you know, it's currently happening across the globe, not only Australia, not only India, not only America, Italy. Everyone is affected with this COVID-19 virus or has different name, coronavirus. So to so university has also adapted the same what they have done to keep their students to keep their staff safe they have started online lecture delivering online lectures via zoom portal so now uh, no lecture is happening face to face in university they what they are doing they are delivering zoom lectures where actual professor like professor will be actually sitting next to you and answering your questions with like current life situation uh, or you're taking a live lecture from the professors. This thing has only changed as the de delivering mode. Like many of my batchmates are facing problem because they are new to it. But don't you think this is the new skill which everyone is adapting? When you will be in the current working skills like on current job portal, or currently will be in the job, you will be using this Zoom very frequently. So this is the same. And if you think uh, we are lacking, yeah, we might lack behind with the like face-to-face -face lecture in terms of asking questions, but they have uh, done, uh, they have uh, taken out something good for it. They are also delivering journal Zoom lectures too. Where yeah, you can book an appointment with the professor while it happens traditionally as well. You can book an appointment with professor uh, face to face, individual appointment or in a group to resolve all of your queries. So it's current, It for some of us it's convenient and for some of us it's like we are learning in the learning phase. So if I will be talking about Australia currently according to Australian government page till now, on 24th of March 2020, currently 18,000, sorry, 18, uh, 1807 per, uh, seven people are affected. So not 18,000, it's 1807 individuals are affected uh, and uh, 319 in the Queensland only. So don't you think the, and from like, uh, it's rising, it's rising day, uh, in, uh, like day by day. So what is, what is the thing which is lacking behind? It's like we are not keeping our social distancing off. You never know who is the person next to you, who is affected. So I request you all to use masks, keeping a sanitizer handy always with you and always take precautions. Keep your surroundings clean and the better thing, just sanitizer is an alternative. When you are at home, always use soap and water because it is the most effective way. Take vitamin C, in like vitamin C tablets. So I request you all to be safe. I know this is the situation uh, of being scared and panic, but I request you all to just use precautions because precaution is better than cure and don't overthink. Everything will pass on. Everyone across the globe is facing the same situation. You are not out of the race.